What's going on everybody? Tanner Weidman of EHP Labs and in today's video I'm going to be sharing a chest and triceps workout that you can do at home with very minimal amounts of equipment. Let's get right into it. Now before we get into this workout, to fuel this, to give me the energy that I need, I'm going to be consuming some of the Oxy Shred Hardcore. This is a thermogenic fat burner and will really help me kick myself into that high gear for the workout. Now to keep myself hydrated, I'm also going to be consuming the Beyond BCAAs. This one right here is the Kiwi Strawberry, just intermittently drinking it from my water bottle during the whole workout. All right, to kick off this workout, we're gonna start off by hitting our chest, and our very first chest exercise we're gonna get are some push-up holds. Now, as opposed to the traditional way that most people perform, chest on the ground, bounce right back up, we're actually gonna add in about a one to a two second isometric hold when your chest is about one inch off of the ground. This will increase time under tension and make your chest have to work that much harder on every single repetition. And for this specific exercise, I'm gonna recommend anywhere from about two to three sets of 10 to 20 repetitions. Let's get in the next exercise. All right, exercise number two to now focus on hitting that upper chest. We're gonna be getting some pike push-ups for about 15 to 20 repetitions. When you're performing every rep, you wanna keep that butt nice and high up in the air so that we can get our body on the angle to actually hit the upper chest. As you're coming down, come down in a nice and controlled manner. Keep those arms nice and tight to your body and you wanna actually bring your nose towards the ground. Now before you just bounce back up from the position, you wanna add in a slight iso hold. That's not actually the purpose of this exercise, but rather it's to just keep control of the movement so you don't wind up taking off all the tension on the chest. As you're coming back up, focus on trying to mimic the idea or the thought pattern of your hands coming together so that you can get the contraction out of the chest and take full advantage of the exercise. Exercise number three to finish off our chest, we're going to be getting two to three sets of plyometric push-ups for sets of 30 seconds. Now, while you're performing this exercise, ensure that you're coming down with control and not slamming your chest off of the ground. If you need to take a couple of rest periods during your 30 second period, go ahead and do so. The goal should try to be to take as minimal rest as possible and really push that chest as far as you possibly can. Now to hit the triceps, we're gonna be starting off here with two to three sets of 10 to 15 repetitions of tricep floor extensions. Now, you wanna focus on keeping your core nice and tight, prevent those hips from sagging. What you're focusing on doing is pushing your body weight up by strictly just using your triceps. The only part of your body that's actually moving is the hinging at your elbows. While you're pushing your body weight up, you wanna focus on contracting and flexing your triceps as hard as possible to maximize the exercise. And also, on every repetition, you wanna to try to keep that angle from your upper arm to the rest of your torso at about 90 degrees. The more that that angle starts to decrease, that's just an indication that your form is starting to deteriorate, so just be conscious of that on every single set. Final exercise to hit the triceps, most importantly the long head of your triceps, we're going to be getting two to three sets of 10 repetitions of some bench dips. Now while you're performing the movement, it's important that you keep in mind the angle of your elbows. You don't want to go to the point where the angle is decreased too much as this will put a lot of strain on your shoulders and it's actually a good idea to try and perform this exercise in front of a mirror or beside a mirror so that you can keep an eye on the elbow angle. So there you guys go, that concludes today's workout. I hope you guys enjoyed that one and thank you so much for joining me. Now, just as a reminder, after this workout, that's when I'm gonna be taking Isopep Zero as this will help me to get the needed protein that I need for my muscles to repair and recover and so that I'm ready for my next workout. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon so you can get notified every time a new video comes out. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.